Is it okay to do what you want? Do you actually know what you want? Is it okay to do what you want, but do you actually know what you want? What's the most important thing to you now? Finding non-duality, finding out truth. Did everything else not work out? So now you're like, ah, screw that. I'm now after truth. This sounds very glorious truth. I'm now on another mission. No longer a mission to reproduce or to get money or to color in the details of my life. I am now on the mission to find truth. And that sounds very glorious. I sometimes wonder if um, if spirituality um, or this subject is more appealing than, say, therapeutic practices because it sounds so courageous. It sounds like the, um, the hero's journey. It's very dramatic. I am going to arrive at liberation. I'm going to become like the Buddha. Whereas going and doing some therapeutic practices implies that there's something broken about you and you're like, well, it's nothing broken about me. I'm just not enlightened. I remember when I first heard about um, enlightenment, I fell in love with it. I was reading a book about this woman who was a Buddhist monk and she could meditate and go back in time. She could walk through walls. She met the Buddha because she went back in time. She could go forward in time. She could do all these spectacular things. She could meet people dead and alive. She, she was telepathic. And I just thought, Phew, that, that enlightenment is for me. That's for me. Sounded pretty good. Healing myself didn't sound quite so appealing. <laughs> myself. But what is it that you really want? So this dramatic story of truth, of finding enlightenment, of going home. But what is it that you really, really want? Am I still in shot? Yes. In one way, waking up is the total surrender of your wants. And in another way, it's following your wants. It's like everything, it's that total contradiction. Like your true wants, it's like you no longer act. You no longer have a desire or want. It's like God's want. And it acts as if it's a personal want, so... The body wants food, the body wants to speak, but it's like the true wants, it's like the deep wants. But there's a part of this that there is a complete surrendering of wants. You no longer have wants.
people get that confused they try to not have wants and that doesn't work because it's not about you when you're there trying not to have wants it's about the collapse of you and then there are the natural wants so this doesn't work like the person trying not to have a want or a desire isn't going to work it's an interesting practice that you could try but it's not going to work out for you just like everything nothing works out for you I don't mean to sound depressive that nothing works out for you, but when you realize this and somebody telling you that nothing's going to work out is a bit of a relief because your whole life you've been trying to make it work out and everyone else says life is going to work out. So the common denominator is you. So you're like, well, it's me that's not working out. But nothing for anybody is ever going to work out because it can't. Because the goals of humanity are insanity. The goals of humanity are about trying to make something permanent which isn't permanent and it's based on a separate self that doesn't exist. That you have a life and that you're going to be happy. So it's never going to work out for you. All of this should be a relief and all of this should be opening. If this is beginning to add to your depression, you're listening to it in the wrong way. If it's making you feel depressed and closed, you're taking this on board for you. There's no meaning for me. There's no way out for me. And that's not what I'm saying at all because there is no you. That's you claiming something again. The idea that you can't do anything is arrogance because who is the person that can't do anything? Who are you to do or not do something? Who? Who let the dogs out? Who? Life is like a gentle river. Just flows. It flows. And there's no part of the river that says, this is me, this is my part of the river. I am running the river. The river just flows. <laughs> 